David Terrell's first major vision in the early 1960s. King James Version, Genesis, 1912, And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides? Son-in-law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. 1913. For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxen great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. King James Version, Genesis. 1915. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife, and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. 1916. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters. The Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth, and set him without the city. 1917, and it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. First vision of America. At the house that night, I was awakened. Get up and pray. I want to show you a vision. And I laid there, and I went back to sleep. Suddenly, I woke again and I heard this army march, like an army marching, and the angel walked over and took a hold of my arm and said, Get up and put on your clothes. I got up and turned on the light, and there was nobody in the room. I heard the footsteps, and I cut the light back off and laid there, and was going back to sleep again, and he came back again. And so this time I got up, put my clothes on, and went into the living room, and I started praying, and the Spirit came over me. I used to get scared when I would go into one of these visions. The Spirit came on me and I became fearful. Have you ever been in prayer when you just feel the Spirit of God, like angels are in the room and you feel chills go all over you? How many of you have ever felt the presence of God so real that you were scared? I was scared, I was praying and traveling. Shortly afterward the Spirit just took me, and I fell out on the floor in the living room, and the Lord carried me out in an open vision. This was my first major vision concerning our country. I saw the United States of America like a big orchard. A big peach orchard, big orchard, it was beautiful, perfect. And I looked and saw this black cloud, a big black cloud rolled in, and it came through this orchard and it just left it desolate, I looked and there was nothing left. I looked again and I saw New York City and I saw the Statue of Liberty going down, like a tree that you would saw down that would start slowly falling. How many of you have ever seen a tree being cut down? I saw the Statue of Liberty going down and it got about half or a little better, and it went fast, and it went into the water. I looked again, and I saw the storm cloud roll in from the north, it came through New York City and it left New York City just desolate. God spoke to me in an audible voice, and these were the words he said. This orchard is the United States of America, this beautiful orchard is the United States of America. The storm is destruction. The Statue of Liberty. He said, the United States of America is held together by sewing threads. He said, just like that it will be snapped. He said, this orchard is the United States of America. Judgment is going to come upon America. Communism. He told me, this cloud was judgment of communism. Second vision of America. And once again, I saw this vision of America, of the United States of America, this time it was different from the other vision. This time I saw South America taken over by communism. I saw Mexico taken over by communism. And I saw in the vision there was a radio on, and this radio was just a regular program and the newsman just busted in on the program, like they do in a time of emergency. 
you know in an emergency they just cut right in, and such and such has just happened. I heard them as they busted in and they said, the United States is being attacked, being bombed by nuclear bombs. And then I went into the vision of the actual happening of these cities and the destruction of this nation. I was preaching under a large gospel tent a lot bigger than any that I ever had before. I was preaching in this tent, and going to major cities everywhere, and I saw that my ministry changed. I had come to that do anything but warn the people. I was stand crusades and I would cry, and the anointing would take over and I would warn him, would warn him of judgment and the major cities. I would go and I would warn him and the Lord spoke to me and said, get out of the major cities, for they are going to be destroyed. And then the radio and the news. Then I saw the sky full of missiles and rockets. I saw, New York and New York City was then desolate. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania was hit, Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., and, Baltimore, Maryland. Detroit, I saw a big old missile at Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis, Norfolk, Virginia. I saw Atlanta, Georgia, the missile, the bomb that hit Atlanta hit close to the capital, and it set Atlanta on fire. I saw Atlanta, Georgia was burning to the ground, I am talking about miles of it burning up. Downtown Birmingham with its high skyscrapers I saw a bomb fall and a missile hit and I saw flames in Birmingham leaping into the air at 150 and 200 feet high at the nuclear explosion of Birmingham. I looked and saw Houston, Texas was hit, was destroyed. Dallas and Fort Worth were hit and destroyed. Kansas City was destroyed. I looked and I saw a city on the west coast, I did not see the city. And then I was brought back into New Orleans, Louisiana, it was hit. And in New Orleans, Atlanta and Birmingham, I was in them just like I was there. In New Orleans there was a mixed people and I saw arms going through the air like you would throw a stick, heads, arms, and legs. I stood there and watched in the nuclear explosion. I looked into the eyes of the people and I saw them melt and run down their faces. I saw their tongues consumed away in their mouth and their flesh fall off their faces. I saw their flesh just fall off them standing there in these nuclear explosions, in these bombs. America invaded. America found out about this about 24 hours before it happened. In the vision America had unprepared herself for this attack, she was not armed, she was not ready. She did not have anything to stop this attack. I looked around and I saw from Mexico. Tanks, guns, and soldiers coming in from Mexico. We were being invaded. I saw ships gathered into our coastal cities. I saw ships unloading and I looked and I saw. At that time I had not been to China. I did not know what the Chinese looked like. But they were not a Russian people. I saw a Chinese looking people. The reason I could tell was because of the look of their eyes, how their eyes are. We were invaded. We were taken over. People were running, they were screaming. I saw when the bomb fell on Atlanta, the nuclear explosion. I saw the expressway was crowded, people went hysterical, the flames. The city was burning, the people were jammed. I saw people that were screaming jumping off of cars and they were running on top of cars. They were running on top of one another, they went crazy mad. I looked and the vision changed and I had the big tent up, a tent so big. It was in a small town just in the country. I had that big tent up, the world's biggest tent. You couldn't see to the end of it. I looked in this vision and there were 40,000 people there, in and around the tent. They was. I still have it, but I saw 40,000 people gathered. The nation was hysterical, people were crazy. During that time I was warning folks. Some called him a, I was a mocker. I was called a false prophet. I was laughed at. I was criticized. 
I was lied on. I was misused. I was fought. I fought a battle. I looked and I walked up to the corner of the tent and walked around. Until lately my steps to the platform were always on the side, but this platform was a big platform and the steps came up from the back. And I walked up on the platform and there was a mic sitting there on a stand, but it was screwed on. A mic was setting there. I walked up on the platform in this big tent in the vision and I grabbed the microphone and I started dragging it. A special anointing came over me and I started prophesying. I heard the word of the Lord as I began to go speak and it said, Ye mocked. People started screaming and I began to hear them scream, Brother Terrell help us. Help us, help us. They were calling my name. A lot of people had gathered. Folks had come from everywhere. They were screaming, they had found out, they were hunting me. I grabbed this microphone and I said, It is too late. I prophesied, I warned you, but you mocked. You have scoffed. I said, It is too late, destruction, destruction, this is destruction to America. Quote dot. And these tanks, guns, our nation was taken over by communism and we lost our freedom. Then communism, communism is going to take over South America, Central America and Mexico. And the United States of America is going to be taken over by communism. It is going to be invaded and communism is going to take over America. He said, the only thing that will hinder communism is a Holy Ghost revival. I had thought we were having that kind of revival, but we were not having that kind of revival. Terrell's personal opinion, I do not believe there has been a Holy Ghost revival in this country. There has been a lot of things called a Holy Ghost revival, but if the apostles and Jesus, and the preachers of the Bible had the Holy Ghost, then what we've got today is a different Holy Ghost. Is that right? I will not say anything more about that, but that is how I feel. He said, that's the only thing that would hinder communism is a Holy Ghost revival. Immediately after the angel said this I went into a vision. In the vision a white cloud like came into the room, and I looked up with my eyes open. Jesus was standing on this cloud, and his arm were outstretched, both of them like this, to America, beckoning to America. His face was sad looking, his face was broken with tears and he looked at me and he said, David. He always calls me by my first name when he calls me in these visions. David, the sins of America have come up before me. There will be a day that I will turn my back upon America, and when I do. This is what will happen, this is what will take place. Since I saw this vision, the Lord showed me we could have revival in America under new leadership, someone that wasn't communistic minded. If God's people would cry out in travail and cry together we could one more time have this visitation. But that doesn't mean we sit with our hands folded and it will come, away revival comes, when men and women won't let go, but continually crying in pain to be delivered. The end, thank you all for listening. I'm reminded of the words by the man of God David Terrell saying, the only thing that will hinder communism and destruction of America is if we cry out for a Holy Ghost revival. Let's all turn to the Lord for the sake of our country and the world. America is one of the last countries with freedom. If America falls then the world will fall because this country is a light to the world for freedom. We must stay before the Lord. Thank you. May God bless.